Hi, third graders. Welcome to your first writing lesson for this week. Um, we are coming to the end of our animal reports. Last week, you finished up your introductions. So we put those at the beginning of your chapters and then you have your chapters. And then usually at the end of the report, there are some closing sentences to show the reader that you are done reading the animal report. You've learned all that you can learn. And actually not just animal reports that's there's usually closing sentences for any kind of report sorry my daughter is watching a funny show in the background you're going to hear her laughing every once in a while um so the closing sentences for a report the fancy word for that is a conclusion so what i want to teach you today is how to write a conclusion for your animal reports after the conclusions, then you get to really have fun adding some text features and images and captions and stuff like that to your reports. Um, and there will be smaller lessons throughout the week to add those things in if you want to. The conclusion really needs to happen. The added text features and images and stuff like that, those are, those are for you to take on if you want to, to add on to your animal reports. And we're hoping that next week we can start getting your finished reports sent to us so that we can find a way to share them with your classmates, um, just like we would in school. Okay, so let's talk about conclusions. Um, so the conclusions or the closing sentences, like I said, are the ways that the author shows the reader, okay, you're done learning about this animal. I, you're done reading this report now. And usually closing sentences do a few different things. I'm going to look at my chart back here, but you know, I'll type this up and put it on in the animal reports folder this week also. So usually a conclusion kind of wraps up the report. It gives the reader a quick summary of the things that they have learned. It reminds them of the big things that they've learned about the animal. Um, it also will sometimes tell the reader how the author feels about the animal. Um, it shows the reader that the report is over. So it will do this a few different ways. There are words and phrases that you can use to show the reader, okay, you're all done. This report is over now. So we're going to read the closing sentences or the conclusions from three different animal reports that were written by kids. Um, and then I'll kind of talk to you about um, what it is that makes these closing sentences really strong conclusions. Okay, so this first one goes like this. Chameleons are pretty unusual animals. Some people may think they are weird, but I think they are awesome. Their changing skin color, swiveling eyes, and long sticky tongues make them different from most animals. I hope that you have enjoyed reading about chameleons. The next time you go to the zoo, you should definitely visit these amazing lizards. Okay, so this conclusion is strong for a couple of different reasons. I'm going to use my drawing materials here. Um, one thing that it does is it kind of gives us a quick reminder of some of the cool things that we read. Their changing skin color, swiveling eyes, and long sticky tongues make them different from most animals. Another thing it does is it kind of tells us how the reader feels about this animal when it says some people may think they are weird, but I think they are awesome. And then another thing that it does is it uses words and phrases to tell us, okay, this report is over. You're done reading now. Um, it does that by saying, I hope that you have enjoyed reading about chameleons. That tells us we're not going to read anymore. We've read all that we're going to. And then I like this kind of this this last sentence too, it kind of leaves me with something to think about or something to look forward to. The next time you go to the zoo, you should definitely visit these amazing lizards. Okay, so this gives me a couple ideas of what I could do for my closing sentences. Now I'm gonna read the next example. Uh-oh, I've got to erase my other lines first. <laughs> Okay, so this one is from a student named Caleb, not the Caleb that you know from third grade, some, some other Caleb in a city far away from here. He was probably not a third grader anymore. And this, these closing sentences go like this. 
As you have learned, mountain gorillas are endangered animals. Humans have destroyed much of their habitat and sometimes hunted them. However, there is still hope for the gorillas. Scientists and nature lovers around the world are working to protect mountain gorillas and save their habitat. These gentle, intelligent, and magnificent animals are special, and I would be very sad if they became extinct. Okay, so again, this conclusion does some really cool things. It reminds us of some things that we learned, like, and it even says, as you have learned, mountain gorillas are endangered animals. Humans have destroyed much of their habitat and sometimes hunted them. Um, and then it also tells us how the, how the writer feels about the animal. He says, I would be very sad if they became extinct. And Caleb, this author, he uses some words and phrases to show me I'm done reading this report now. This report is over. Um, Actually, this the same line here, as you have learned, that tells me things are coming to a close. I'm almost done reading. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that this gives me some other ideas about how I might end my report. And I know polar bears are endangered too, so I might incorporate some of these ideas into my closing sentences. Okay, I'm going to erase again. For this next one, I'll read it and then I'll stop and give you some time to think about what words or phrases and what sentences make this a strong conclusion. Okay, here we go. This one's about spiders. Spiders may be small, but they can do things that make people say, wow. They can spin very strong webs. Some spiders have poison that is powerful enough to kill animals or even people. They can live in almost any habitat on Earth. As you now know, spiders have been around for a long time. They first appeared 300 million years ago, and I think they will be here for millions more. Okay, so start just by thinking, what does this author do to remind you of what you've already read? Even though we didn't actually read this report, what do you think might be some sentences here that are reminding us of what we read in, in her report? So I was thinking, first of all, she says, as you now know, spiders have been around for a long time. So that tells me that's probably something that we already learned in the report. And I'm thinking that also these facts were ones that were in the report that she's just reminding us of. Now take a look at it. Um, does this author tell us how she feels about this animal, about spiders? So this one's a little trickier for me. I don't know what you were thinking, but I was thinking that maybe this sentence, I think they will be here for millions more. This kind of tells us how she feels about spiders. And then finally, what are the words or the phrases that Anna, the author uses to show the reader, this report is done. You're not going to read anymore after this paragraph. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I found a few. Um, one was this spiders may be small, but they can do things that make people say, wow, that's kind of telling me this is summing things up. This is closing things down. And then also, as you now know, that tells me, okay, I'm probably done learning new things. Um, so those are some words and phrases to bring it to a close. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my Word document. You don't have to write yours in a Word document. You write it however has been working for you. This just works for me so that I can show you what it is that I'm writing while I'm writing it. Okay, so um, this is my conclusion. So I'm going to And then I'm going to think about what I want my first sentence to be. I'm going to about what those other authors wrote. I'm going to look at some ideas here. I hope you enjoyed reading about as you have learned. I think they will. Um, I'm going to try that. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope.
hope you have enjoyed reading about polar bears. And then I want to remind the reader of some of the interesting things that they learned about polar bears. So I'm going to just say, um, I remember that one of the authors used as you now know. Let me try that too. As you now know, polar bears are. Silly show she's watching are fascinating um, for many reasons. Um, they are great hunters. They can survive in very cold weather. I'm going to think of one more fact that I know I put in my report. Um, they can survive in very cold weather. They are great hunters. Um, and sadly, they are endangered. Okay, so now I have reminded my reader of some of the things that they learned. I kind of showed the reader that things are coming to a close by saying things like, I hope you have enjoyed, and as you now know. Um, I think I want to add one more sentence just really showing my reader how I feel about um, and, and really bringing it to a close also. So I just said they are endangered. So I might say something like, um, I hope that people can work to help save this amazing animal from extinction. Okay, it's kind of a sad ending, but it's how I feel. I really, I hope those polar bears can be saved. Okay, so just to remind you for your conclusion, um, you're going to make sure to use words and phrases that really bring the report to a close. Things like, I hope you've enjoyed reading, as you now know. Um, what's my other one? Um, uh, some people may think blah, 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 but I think blah, blah, blah. I hope that blah, blah, blah. Those are some words and phrases that you might use. You remind the reader of the things that they've learned that are important. Not everything, just a few important things. And then you also put something in there that really shows your reader how you feel about the animal. Okay, so um, we're hoping that you can work on this conclusion today and, um, and over the next few days. And I will also put a couple of quick, fun lessons in about how to do various types of text features to add to your report. You don't have to, but you can if you want. And then um, when you are finished, when you're totally finished with your report, like towards the end of this week or maybe the beginning of next week, please send it to your teacher so that we can find a way to share it with your classmates, because I think that will be really special. I know I love reading your work so much when it comes to me. I'm sure that you would all love seeing each other's work also. Okay, thank you so much. Can't wait to see your animal reports. Good luck with your conclusions. See you later.